we're going to study about work and measurement of work and work done by the force of gravity units of work basically we are relating uh, three things in that order work energy and power so if i tell you a precursor that work and energy are actually you know they are the two faces of same coin we are we are doing work we are having energy we have energy we can do work we are doing energy we have what energy the, we can do work on some other object some work is done on ourselves it is stored in us in the form of energy it's all it's all in that manner it all goes on in that manner so uh, and, and then we will we'll discuss about how force is not work done why force and work done are different hum ye bhi ye bhi usme hum discuss karenge chapter ke andar it's a huge chapter and there are many questions from this chapter it's a very important chapter section a section a of the paper got short questions in numerical from this chapter section b has got derivations from this chapter also there will be numerical in section b we will derivation in section b as well so try to do this chapter properly right at least i'm having a one week for this chapter it can't be less than that it requires seven days to explain and discuss and solve and answers and numericals for this chapter so don't be in haste first three chapters constitutes at least 20 marks in the exam for boards now i don't know how about boards that different issue but right now we are going to study in this order so i have given you the headings of this in in this order the work so first of all the first topic how to discuss how to uh, what is the basic components which makes things doing work what are the what are those aspects of force which makes it to do work all right so if i read something from the book first of all then so in our daily language the word work is used for some sort of exertion physical or mental of various activities such as while writing reading or eating we say that we are doing work i am doing work teaching since morning so i am doing mental work if sitting on a chair you are walking somewhere you are sitting in front of your cap computers you also doing work sitting there thinking applying right so work is said to be done only when a body moves under the influence of force if there is no displacement of body even when a force act on it the work done is said to be zero now what is that point so basically they are saying that whenever whenever we are applying force but that force does not cause any kind of displacement in the object that force does not cause any kind any kind of motion in the object on which work is being applied or force is being applied we say that no work is being done so the pro, the the primary condition for the work to be done is that there should be some motion in the object on which force is being applied application of force must always application of force must always cause the object to move in direction particular direction at some angle the direction of force that is definition we'll take it later on but right now simple plain language the thing should move thing should move on applying the force on it so if you take it generally force must always cause acceleration negative or positive doesn't matter so force must always cause acceleration and if there is an acceleration there is a change in velocity and change in velocity is possible only when object is showing some kind of motion so force causing acceleration causing some kind of motion causing change of velocity body was at rest comes into motion body was in motion comes into rest it is all the applications or repercussions of force applied on the object and then all these things sum up that some work is being done 
some energy is being spent. So they are saying here, try to underline these things in your, in your books, everyone. So they are saying here, if there is no displacement of the body, even when force acts on it, the work done is said to be zero. So the simple plain definition, work is said to be done Only when force applied on a body makes the body moves. That is, there is a displacement of the body. So application of force resulting into displacement of the body. Application of force resulting into Displacement work is done. Understood. Work is done. You're pushing a car, a cyclist while pedaling a cycle, a horse while pulling a car, a boy going upstairs, a pulley lifting a load, all exerts a force which produces motion, so they do work. Man tries to push a wall. Let's see the second diagram. Man tries to push a wall. Is not doing any work. Why it's not doing any work? Why it is not doing any work? Man tries. Man is. Sir, because there's no movement. Man is trying. Sir, to because push a wall. it is not doing any work. Why it is not doing any work? Because. Our force is not causing any object. displacement in the in the body, in the wall, in the car. I mean, you go and push a truck, you go and push a tree, you go and push a heavy boulder, a stone. You might not be able to move that stone from its place. You might you might apply as much force as possible of yours. No work is done. No work is done in that case. Understand? So a coolie does no work while standing with heavy load on his head. Since displacement of load is zero. I'll take it that again for the case of coolie. But before that, I'm just simply telling you about like this wall. This wall is not moving its, from its place. Although man is applying force on this in this direction. Man is applying the force with all its might. Yeah, apna pura force apply kar raha hai wall ke upar. Wall to movie nahi ho rahi hai. Wall is not bulging out. Wall is not moving up. Wall is not moving because because this force is not sufficient enough to move the wall. And so, however much the force is being applied, no work is done on the wall. I hope you're clear, you're clear with that. Tell me. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Good. So now the point comes that how do we measure the amount of work? Now, always remember, force is not work. Applying of force is not doing of work. In your book, note the little points. Ko. Side me kahin bari pencil leke don't listen to the story. If only application of force, it's not sufficient. That work is done. You might be applying force, how much, however, but it's still not doing any work. Now, a poor coolie is carrying a load on his head, he's standing with a load on his head. He's not doing any work because he's only applying force, is not moving. You're trying to you're trying to shift, you're trying to push a heavy truck, and truck is not moving. You're trying to push a train, train is not moving. Aapka force to lag raha hai, lekin wo force work done nahi kar raha hai. To aage bhi force ko work done se confuse nahi karenge. Force different hota hai, work done different hota hai. Force is different, work done is different. Work done is the 
रिजल्ट ऑफ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फोर्स तो अगर आप फोर्स लगाएंगे तब आप वर्क डन कर पाएंगे वर्क डन कैन नॉट बी डन विदाउट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फोर्स बिकॉज फोर्स इज बींग अप्लाइड मोशन इज बींग देयर डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज बींग देयर फोर्स इज वर्क इज बींग डन अंडरस्टोर्ड एवरी वन हम कैसे वर्क को मेजर करते हैं हाउ डू वी मेजर वर्क डन सो अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क डन ऑन अ बॉडी डिपेंड्स अपॉन टू फैक्टर्स दर टू फैक्टर्स ऑन विच आपने कितना वर्क डन किया है ये डिपेंड करता है the two points the two factors on which amount of work done depends the first one magnitude of force applied so w is directly proportional to force jitna zyada hum force laga payenge utna zyada So your voice is inaudible. Your voice is not audible. Sir, your voice is not audible. Sir, your voice is not audible. The amount of work I am applying, uh, amount of force I am applying, is proportional to the amount of work I am doing. Fine. Okay. And the second point. Sir, please point. explain again. Your voice was lagging. The second point. I just I'm telling you for all this time that only when displacement is being done. only when displacement is being done work would be taken into consideration so the force must always cause some kind of displacement so second point force is proportional to displacement f is proportional to displacement all right everyone is that clear to you when i combine these two yes, so f is proportional to f into s or w is equal to f into s w is equal to f into s right is that clear to you yes sir yes yes so Uh, yes. Force is F1, F2 move two different bodies by yes. same distance. The work done by the force F1 is said to be more than it by the force F2. Similarly, if a force F moves the bodies one and two by distance S1, S2 respectively, such that S1 is greater than S2, the work done by the force F on the body one is said to be more than on body two. The amount of work done does depends upon two factors: the magnitude of force applied and the magnitude of the displacement they are saying that suppose the two forces f1 and f2 now person a comes he throw a ball with force f1 more force person b comes he throw a ball lesser force it might move the body to the same distance hum baat mein abhi consider nahi kar rahe body ka mass so agar aap body ka mass variable kar lijiye to aisa ho sakta hai ki lighter body ko lesser force laga kar hum zyada dur tak displace kar paye aur heavy body ko zyada force laga kar hum less distance displace kar paye to imagine kariye ki humne ek heavy body ek ek do do persons hain dono force laga rahe hain a person one applies greater force person two applies lesser amount of force and they have they managed to throw the ball to the same distance remember the person who has applied the more force has done more work and person who applies less force has done less work please understand these two points clearly okay is that fine the work done by the force f1 is said to be more than the force f2 similarly if a force moves 
when force F moves the body 1 and 2 by distance S1, S2. So we are now, we, I'm throwing a ball and you are throwing a ball. My force and your force are equal, but incidentally, we see that the, your ball is moving much more than what my ball is moving. Who has done more work done? The second ball, which is displaced more, has done more work done. So, incidentally, the, the nutshell is that the work done is two factors. First factor is the amount of force, and second factor is amount of displacement used. So amount of work done by the force is equal to product of force and displacement at the point of application of the force in the direction of force. Now direction comes later on. I'll discuss this in detail in a second second uh, topic right now. First of all, you understand how to measure work done by multiplying force and displacement. So do you know what quantity is force? Vector or scalar is a vector quantity. Displacement is also a vector quantity. And I am multiplying two, dis two vector quantities. And I am taking their dot product. So dot product of two scalar of two vector quantities gives us vector gives us scalar. So work done is a scalar quantity. Direction does not matter anything when we calculate the work done. So work done is 20 joules or 30 joules or 100 joules or 10 joules. It does not make any difference. Work done is without any direction. How many 10 joules work done? Kiya? It is not required to mention kis direction. Mein kiya. There is no direction to the energy. There is no direction to the work done. Keep on noting this point side by side. Don't sit just like that. There is no direction to the work done. Work done is a scalar quantity. It's a, it's a dot product of two vector quantities. Understand everyone? Yes, so, sir. Yes, sir. So W equals to force into displacement of point of creation of force in direction of the force. All right. Is that fine with you all? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so, if yes, sir. force is being applied and displacement becomes zero, so of course, work done would also be zero. Work done is zero means, work done is zero means there will not be, there is no displacement either. Forces are not applied or displacement is not done. So work done is zero. In both the case, either S is zero or F is zero, or both are zero, work done is zero. Force act on a body and the body does not move. Displacement is zero, then no work is done. Work is a scalar quantity. Now, I little bit change. I take it move. I see these two diagrams, uh, two, these two images I've shown you here. What difference you are seeing here? In these two ways, now understand the point. Say a, a ball, a, a box is lying here on the ground. Now I simply apply a force in this direction. And a box also starts moving in the same direction. So this is direction of force also. And this section of displacement also. Now that means force and displacement vectors are in same direction. They are in same direction. They are parallel to each other. We ball ko kick kiya and ball rolling in the forward direction. Jaha force, just direction mein force tha, us direction mein ball is also rolling. Mainne ball ko pick kiya, throw kar diya. Mainne cycle ko push kiya. Mainne truck ko push kiya pichhe se. Mainne box ko pichhe se kick kar diya. Box ko pichhe se push kar diya. 
आगे से बॉक्स को पुल किया अ हॉर्स इज पुलिंग अ कार्ड जिस डायरेक्शन में फोर्स लगा रहा है उस डायरेक्शन में बॉडी मूव कर रही है क्या कोई एंगल है डायरेक्शन ऑफ फोर्स एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट में नो देर इज नो एंगल दे आर पैर टू इच अदर एंगल इज जीरो डिग्री फाइन एंगल इज जीरो डिग्री बिटवीन फोर्स एंड एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट दैट इज वन केस याद रखिएगा Just making it in your mind. That is one case of angles between force and displacement. Now see this direction. See this image now. Very carefully see this image. Now see the child. See the image on the screen. This is the force we are applying. Isn't it? Does this box move like this? No. No. It is moving on the ground like this. Now that means, जो जो हमारा force vector है और जो हमारा displacement vector है, उन दोनों के बीच में एक angle बन रहा है. The force and the displacement are inclined to each other at some angle. They are not in one direction. The angle is not zero between them. Now please remember just one point here. Whenever there is an angle between the force and displacement, the work done is calculated by the formula F D cos theta. F D cos theta. Now there is a vector concerned. I I will not try to tell you how this F D cos theta is there because force is a vector here. So its k दो कंपोनेंट बन जाते हैं अ वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट एंड एंड अ हॉरिजॉन्टल कंपोनेंट राइट दिस दिस इज एफ एंड दिस इज सो जो कंपोनेंट वर्टिकल जो कंपोनेंट हॉरिजॉन्टल होता है दैट इज एफ कॉस एंड दिस वर्टिकल कंपोनेंट इज एफ साइन ये एफ साइन थीटा इसके वेट से बैलेंस हो जाता है so we do not count any anywhere this component f sin theta while i am making it again if it is not clear to you understand very carefully this force this force is a vector bachcho hum isko higher class mein padhte hain to hum is vector ke do component bana sakte hain one component is the vertical component and other as you can see here it is a horizontal component All right. So this vertical component is always being balanced by the weight of the object, always acting in the downward direction. Then which one is unbalanced? This f cos theta is unbalanced. Its key value होती है f sine theta, or its key value होती है f cos theta ye kaun sa component hai bachcho it is a horizontal component of force vector this arrow means ye vector hai to humne is f vector ke do component banaye hain vertical component and horizontal component ye bachcho force hai jiska angle theta hai हॉरिजॉन्टल से तो ये तो होता है एफ साइन थीटा और ये होता है एफ कॉस थीटा तो जब हम जब हम वर्गन को कैलकुलेट करेंगे तो मैं टोटल फोर्स में से जो उसका कंपोनेंट है एफ कॉस थीटा केवल उसको ही डिस्प्लेसमेंट से मल्टीप्लाई कर रहा हूं सो डब्ल्यू इक्वल्स टू एफ कॉस थीटा इन टू डिस्प्लेसमेंट दैट गिवस मी एफ डी कॉस थीटा please understand this point it is fd cos theta so always remember every one of you whenever there is a angle between the displacement of the object and direction of the force applied like the second case you can see see here displacement and force make angle hai 
So we are only calculating this component f cos theta into displacement. So f d cos theta, that is suppose say forces, for example, the 100 newtons. So it is 100 into 10 into cos 30. Cos 30 is root 3 upon 2. So work done would be 500 root 3 joules. That is how we calculate. It's very simple and very easy. It's not that difficult. So that's how work is being calculated. Is that fine with you, everybody? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, everyone? Yes, sir. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, so I'm okay with this. So I hope this, this topic is clear till here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So I've got the formula for you. W equals to Fs cos theta or Fd cos theta is one and the same thing. Okay. Now, how many of you know the value of cos theta? So like cos 0 is 1. Cos 30 is 1 of root 3 by 2. Cos 45 is 1 by root 2. Cos 60 is 1 by 2. As the value of angle is increasing, the value of cos is decreasing. The value of cos is decreasing. So always understand this fact that jitna zyada angle hoga, jitna zyada angle hoga, displacement and force ki direction ke beech mein utna hi kam work done hota jayega. Book me complete note kariye. More the angle between displacement and force. More the angle between displacement and force. Lesser is the lesser is the work done. Lesser is the work done. Right. So for the given value of force, for the given value of force, work done is maximum when, please write down, work done is maximum when Inclination between force and displacement is zero. So, sir, please repeat. For the given value of, I mean, for the given value of force. Maximum work is done when angle between F vector F and and displacement is zero. Understand that is that is force and displacement are parallel to each other, are parallel to each other. Force and displacement are parallel to each other. This direction may force the guy, which direction may object move. Kar hai. 
एम में बीच में जीरो है आपका वर्क डन मैक्सिमम है तो सो नेक्स्ट पॉइंट लिखिए कॉपी में सो नेक्स्ट पॉइंट लिखिए एज द इंक्लिनेशन इंक्रीजेस अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क डन decreases for the given value of for the given value of force understand understood yes next point yes. linke work done is zero when force and displacement are normal to each other that is that is angle is 90 degree angle is 90 degree so jab kabhi bhi डिस्प्लेसमेंट जैसे कि आपको ये जो डायग्राम दिखाई पड़ रहा है यहाँ पर सपोज जो फोर्स लग रहा है ये डिस्प्लेसमेंट का नॉर्मल हो जाए ये डिस्प्लेसमेंट है और ये फोर्स है ये फोर्स और ये डिस्प्लेसमेंट ये एंगल इज हाउ मच 90 डिग्री एंगल है अंडरस्टैंड इवन दो द बॉडी मूव माइट मूव माइट नॉट मूव force will not be a uh, work done will be calculated as zero in all the in all the matters so whenever force and force and displacement are at 90 degree to each other work done is taken to be zero although body might be showing displacement all right meeting is getting over i'm i'm pausing for 30 seconds think on all this think on what what i have told you by now raise out the questions raise out your indecisiveness raise out the queries ask me your doubts i'll come back with a second meeting by that time <laughs>